today is beautiful day for science. Currently, we're looking at a quite significant little ninja style uh, corona mass ejection. And this is a interplanetary corona mass ejection. We don't know exactly how far it's going to be reaching just yet, but this is a beautiful one. Let's take a look at it on, take a quick peek at 131 where I saw it first showing itself. And then we'll take a look at it on. 193. And this is on the GOES satellite. Beautiful event. The amount of uh, loops that were detached from this even though it did not come up with a significant flare, was still intense enough that it showed the disruption on the 131, which significantly measures, or specifically measures the flaring activity. So it's showing on there, shows the amount of significant loops that were altered in this event. So we do not know how much plasma was actually displaced in it, except for it was a lot. Uh, and that's, it's coming off directly centered in a corona hole that's more specifically designed in the uh, strike zone as it were we are most likely going to see this hit earth and it's going to be definitely a geomagnetic storm if it does impact us uh, to the level and degree still uncertain that's going to rely very heavily on the analysis of soho satellite imagery Even looking at it now on the 171 angstroms, and this is SDO's most recent image within the past 10 minutes, we can see that it's still restructuring from that departure. So we could tell that this significant departure impacted a massive amount of area on the surface of the sun, which gives us a good view that this is not going to be a small or subtle storm. If it does impact us, it will probably be, we were talking a minimum of, I would say, a G2 based on what we know at this point. But more significantly, on this event, we're noticing that the proton flux is also increasing, meaning that this was more of a surface level of type event as well. So that disruption, even despite there not being a significant flare associated with it, was a massive eruption that also brought a lot of that uh, closer to the surface, into the surface uh, material from the sun, giving us a, a heightened level of activity uh, for the tourism of the storm. So already getting a proton event means very likely we're going to see a significant solar storm from this. I would say a minimal of G2 from what we can see at this point could be more uh, impactful based upon what analysis we can get from things such as the solar satellite where we can get a better view of that uh, amount of plasma being displaced out from the sun through the, uh, the uh, eclipsing disk, the occulting disk that uh, covers the sun and gives us that view of the plasma outreaching and that beautiful cone view which we'll probably have in about another couple of hours.